Hello everyone. My name is Prashant and I am from Identity Advanced Cloud Engineering team here in Microsoft. Today we are going to discuss about device compliance policies in Intune. Compliance in general means adhering to specific set of rules or standard so your enterprise can have certain security standards defined that needs to be checked or validated for every endpoint or devices that is used to access any protected resources. For example, the devices used to access any corporate application will be allowed only when antivirus or firewall service or Microsoft Defender service is enabled. If not, then access will be blocked. Compliance access or compliance settings are mostly used in combination with Azure AD conditional access policies to check the device status as mentioned earlier for certain settings and then set a compliant flag. There are two types of compliance check. One is built-in device compliance policy and the second one is the one which we have manually created. Built-in device compliance policy is a tenant-wide setting that every device receives. Compliance settings are set a baseline for how the compliance policy works in your internal environment. If we get into built-in device compliance policy, you can see there are three settings. But what matters is user must be active and licensed. In combination of both built-in device compliance policy and the one which we have created manually must be compliant. Therefore, the device will be flagged as a compliant, which will allow the user to access the protected resource of your organization. If any of the policy is set to red, which means it is not meeting the requirement, that means it is not compliant and therefore user will be blocked to access the company resources. Now let's little bit discuss about the compliance policy part, in particular to Windows platform. As an Intune admin, you may receive complaints from users stating that despite devices showing as compliant, but still they are not able to access the company resources. Or you want to investigate why device is showing non-compliant in Intune portal. In both the scenarios, you need to verify what settings are configured in the con compliance policies along with what settings is configured in the conditional access policies. Here I have created one test policy. In the test policy, I have asked for the device must have antivirus enabled. If yes, then mark this device as compliant. If not, then mark this device as not compliant. In a normal usual scenario, if user is not meeting this particular requirement, means if antivirus is not enabled or installed on the device, then this compliance check will immediately flag it as non-compliant. Along with that, you need to validate these settings as well. What is the significance of this setting is, if your device is not part of any compliance policy, then mark it as compliant. So compliant setting is by default, you will find in any tenant, but in your tenant, as per your organization security standard, it could be set to non-compliant, due to which it is marking or flagging as a non-compliant. Along with that, you need to see what validity period is set. Maximum setting is 120 days, but by default, you will find 30 days as a validity period. But in your tenant, it could be one day or two days as well. Between this period, if user is not logged in or if the device is not connected to internet, the company portal will not synchronize the devices to Intune services. Therefore, it will also mark it as non-compliant. It is really important to set the right configuration in Azure AD conditional access policy as well. So if the device is showing as compliant in Intune portal, but you haven't set the right combination in the conditional access policy, then the access to protected resources will fail. Here, for example, if you as an administrator has defined a required device to be marked as compliant, then user will be granted access provided the device is compliant in Intune portal. But in unusual cases, if the combination is set to 
require hybrid eddy joint device here then in that case despite the device is marked as compliant in intune but it will still fail to access the protected resources or any application because in conditional access policy it is defined as a required hybrid eddy joint device i hope you find this video quite helpful thank you for watching